Yo what's up guys it's T-Bag and I think we just started a series because in this video we're gonna play with the beginner weapons in different Battlefield games. In Battlefield 4 the AK-12 is the beginner weapon for the Assault class, the MX-4 for the Engineer, the U-100 Mark V for the Support class and the CSLR-4 for the Recon class but we're gonna focus on the Support and the Engineer class because these two beginner weapons are actually pretty on the red. I fitted the MX-4 with a suppressor to get some sneaky kills. But first I want to tell you guys about Worlds at War, the sponsor of this video. Worlds at War is an awesome little indie game that's mainly focused on flying planes and helicopters to fend off an alien invasion. Kinda like Independence Day, all on this amazing scale with still the feel of Battlefield. In fact this game is made and published by none other than Johan Pearson, the guy behind the original concept of the Battlefield franchise and lead and physics engineer of Battlefield 1942. It's currently available on Steam as Early Access and did I mention that it's also available on Oculus VR? Because it is and I wish I had a VR headset so I could feel like a real pilot when inside of the cockpits of those planes but it's also awesome on a regular monitor. You have crazy fighter jets, attack helicopters and even boats and if you are into these sort of games then I highly recommend you to check out this game with the link down below. The developer is very passionate about this project and also open for some feedback about the game. He has great plans for the future, you can check out Worlds at War with the link down below. Nobody sees me on the minimap because of the suppressor, that's very good. A couple guys there are too far away for this gun, it's a PDW. Okay, he also has a suppressor, that's good. They all have suppressors for some reason. It's a nice little kill. There's a guy coming up the stairs right now, I believe. Yes, it's so nice not to be appearing on the enemy's minimap with a suppressor in Battlefield 4. It really, it really adds a lot to the gameplay in my opinion. You can be really stealthy. Okay, they have no idea I'm here, except for that guy. Okay, now I want to introduce you guys to one of the most underrated guns in Battlefield 4. The beginner weapon for the support class, the U-100 Mark V. This thing is extremely accurate. There we go. It does have only a firing rate of 590 rounds per minute though, so... Okay, let's see how accurate this thing is. It's pretty accurate, I'm just trash, trust me guys. There we go, very accurate as you can see. Okay, I guess he wants us to hop in. I'm sorry I can't revive you, bro. Okay, Rambo style, let's do this. Time to knife you, bye bye. Get out of here, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, there he is. What? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Okay, that's one guy. There we go. Easy tap fire with this gun. It's so accurate. It's like a DMR basically. Okay, at least we got one final kill because I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose this. Yep, we lost. Anyway, those are the beginner guns of Battlefield 4. Let's head over to Battlefield Hardline. Team Deathmatch on the Hollywood Heights. This is the perfect map for this beginner weapon in Battlefield Hardline, the 870 pump action shotgun. And unlike Battlefield 4, the pump action shotgun is not a universal weapon. It's only for the enforcer class, whatever that means. As you can see, this map is just pure close quarter combat, which like I said, is perfect for this shotgun. I do notice that the shotguns don't have the range from Battlefield 4. So you need to be really close before you can get a kill. Is it guy right there? Was just sitting in the corner. Okay. Another beginner in Battlefield Hardline is the MP5K and I equipped it with a suppressor and I absolutely love this loadout. It's like it can be like this ninja and I really like it, especially in a map like this. I actually like it a lot better than the pump action shotgun to be honest. There we go. He's still not dead! How many hit markers do you want? 
Still no kill. Finally, a clean kill. Quickly, two guys over there. Couldn't shoot because he was in mid reload. Look at the hit markers, look at the hit markers. Yeah, Seven, five hit markers, one with a headshot. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this. We only need six more kills before our team wins, so this match is almost over. Let's see if we can get this guy. As you can see, this gun is absolutely amazing. I don't care though, we won. Hop on to Battlefield 1. So the four beginner weapons in Battlefield 1 are the MP18 Trench for the Assault class, the Serigotti Trench for the Medic class, I really don't like this weapon, the Lewis Gun for the Support class and the SMLE for the Scout class. But we are going with the Lewis Gun because I absolutely love this weapon. Plus we want to change it up a little bit. So this is a light machine gun. That's two kills, defusing the bomb. I think we got it, unless we get headshotted by a sniper, now we got it. Also, as you can see, we are playing Rush, which is a fun game out in Battlefield 1, in my opinion. Look at this guy. We got him through that thing. I don't know how to call it in English. Okay, suppressive fire. That's an easy kill. More people. There we go. Okay, they're coming. Yep. They're out to get me right now. Ninety-six damage, come on. There we go. Hopefully we can get him with this. Just stay still for a second, please. Let's keep on firing. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I really don't. Okay, they're on the inside. We got one with the limpet charge. There's one here. Okay. There's one here, he didn't see me because of the smoke. Maybe we can defuse it. It's on the other side. Defuse it, come on, quickly. We got it. Pretty sure we won now. They only have three tickets left, so yeah, we got it. And we got another one. Nice little head glazed and we finished up with a nice little headshot with the biopod. I hope you guys enjoyed Battlefield 1's gameplay. Now we're gonna go with the beginner guns for Battlefield 5. And finally we are here with Broken Field 5, I mean Battlefield 5, and we are playing with the Scout class actually, the Lee Enfield. This is the beginner weapon for the Scout class in Battlefield 5. And with this rifle I think we did pretty much every weapon class, so we got shotguns, SMGs, light machine guns, even sniper rifles and stuff like that, so I gotta admit though, I haven't... I haven't played the sniper class in Battlefield 5 for quite some time, so forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty. Ooh, a prone line machine gunner. A prone MMG gunner, I'm sorry. Oh, they're all the way over there, okay. Can we get a hit, please? Am I aiming too high? Too low? I guess I'm aiming too low. There we go, finally. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I need some ammo. Where can I find ammo? All the way over there. Attrition system, gotta love it. Okay, we pretty much got all objectives on lockdown, so we kind of spawn camping them. Yeah, this is not fun for them. They are literally getting obliterated. The fact that they haven't all rage quitted yet is pretty amazing if you ask me. 
Look at the scoreboard. Look at the top right. There's one hit. And there is two hits. Okay. There we go. I mean, these guys are not the best, evidently. There we go. That was one of the easiest games I've ever had, I believe. 19 and 3. It's not the best score, but I mean... Like, subscribe, bye.